Okay guys, so I just wanted to make try to make as quick as possible a video for you guys to see the how the daily schedule is meant to be used because I don't know how it's coming across on whatever device you're using, phone or um, computer or tablet. So first of all, if you can get the Google Drive app, that's this little one here, and the Google Slides app, that's the one down here on the bottom. Uh, on the right side that looks like a little yellow piece of paper, those will really be the best way for you to see and use the schedule. So if you open the Google Drive and you go to Red Class Activities, and then here you see all the activities I've loaded, and the daily schedules are all in here, Wednesday schedule, Thursday schedule, so I'm gonna open up Friday schedule. And if I have the Google Slides app, it's gonna open up in that app, and this is gonna be the best way to use and view the schedule. Um, up at the top right, next to the little person, you see a little triangle, that's the play. I'm gonna click that and click present on this device. Now I'm gonna wait for it to load to make sure it works and then the links should work. So as you see, the link takes you right to the YouTube video. Um, the nice thing about this is then when you're done, up at the left, you just click done, and it will take you right back to the, the page in the slideshow. Go to the next one, and the same thing will happen. You can follow Teacher Jack. And then when you're finished... Good morning, everyone. Today I am... You can just go hit done, straight back to the, the schedule. Snack break. Then for the art, all of these photos link to the activity. So say you want to make the finger paint, click and it goes right to the web website to give you the, the recipe and, and what to do. Then when you're finished, you can just click done and it goes right back to the slideshow. Food prep, the same. So the mango smoothie, you click, it's gonna take you to the video. The egg and bread bowl, you click, and it's gonna take you to the instructions. So you just go through the instructions. Then after you finish, there's a quiz. The kids, see if the kids can answer the questions. And then when you finish, you just click slide six, lunch break. And it goes, actually goes back to food prep, but that's all right. Then you just sweep, swipe and lunch break. Then leisure skills. Here you can click, um, you, you can choose, but if they choose dance, then it will take them to the song choice, and these will link to the videos, as you see. And then when you finish, you can go back, and then when you're done, you can go back to Leisure Skills, and the same here, there's, oops, that should, should go to, well, that one doesn't work quite right, but I'll uh, fix that before I send it. And then, finish, ta-da! So that's how it works if you're able to get the um, Google Slides app and the Google Drive app. I believe you do need a Gmail for that, um, but it is free to set up a Gmail. So you can set up a Gmail just for this if you want. Um, I highly recommend using Google Drive for almost any anything you might need to use it for. It's a great free storage. Um, but if that doesn't work for you, then you can just, as I send the link you just click and follow the link, it will open up in your browser. And um, <clears throat> you can use it just like this, click by click, or you can present it through the browser. Now the thing about this is that it still works just fine, but make sure you give it time to load so that the links will work. And then sometimes the links don't always work. So you just kind of have to give it a little extra time. Oops. And as we see, I'm trying to get it to load. Then sometimes you have to click a little harder. And there, finally, it will open. So as you see, it doesn't work quite as well, but it will still work. Um, you just have to wait a little longer and click a little harder. Then you hit Safari up at the top left there to go back. Um, 
Then for the art links, um, when you click them, it won't follow the, the links. The, the, if it goes to a YouTube video, it will work. You just have to wait a little longer. But for the website links, you can click, but then you have to, sorry, let me show you this better. Um, as you see, I click the link Over here, I click the link. Then at the top left, I hit the X to exit out of the activity. And here it has opened up the information for the, the activity. Or if you can't seem to get it to work that way, if, you're, if, it, if the layout looks like this, when you touch the photo, uh, the website here will come up and then you click it there and it will, will open the website if you're having trouble getting it to work from the um, slideshow view. The same with uh, the videos for food prep and, and the like. So here then you can go back and <clears throat> when you click the egg and bread bowl it will go once again like the other one through the activity and the quiz and then it will bring you back to the food prep web uh, slide. And the same here, you can click and goes back to the leisure skills like that and then finished. So like I said, that's if you're using it in your browser. So it will still work just fine that way. You just have to um, kind of figure things out a little bit. It's a little bit harder to figure things out that way. So if you can get the Google Slides, I highly recommend it. It's easier to use, but this works too. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Miss you guys.